Number 11, Heather? Yes, that's me as well. Um, now that you're a suburban town, um, you have greater ability to retain traffic time <coughs> bounds in your municipality. You do have um, ordinances on file in the town that make speeding a violation of, of a local ordinance. The problem is that they were adopted prior to when you became a suburban town, and so your local justice court won't enforce them. Which was many years ago. Right, until you readopt them now that you are a suburban town. So what I'm going to suggest is that um, perhaps even at the next meeting, if you want to set a public hearing date to essentially readopt your entire vehicle and traffic um, section of your local code, that way, everything that will, is in it will have been readopted as a suburban town. Should give you the teeth and the um, authority you need in order for your local officers to write citations for speeding as a local violation, which would then in turn um, enable you to keep a greater proportion of the fines. Anybody interested in doing that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the <laughs> Second. There's the end of 26, right? Sure. Okay. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Wacky? Yes. Mr. Wacky? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Mr. Dzinski? Yes. All set, Heather? That's it for me. Thank you. Number 12. We've had a request for a speed reduction on Route 11 from Orangeport Road north to the Oswego County line and from the Bartell Road exit west to Route 11. This is something that the businessmen in the Burden area requested, I think, once before. The problem is, is there's a uh, fuel station where fuel trucks fill up in Oswego County. They fill up, and when they head south to get back on 81, they rumble through Burden quite fast. It's been a big concern up there. I've been up there myself just to check it out. Um, and what we have to do is slow the traffic down. With the project that we have going on up there, um, it, it's just an, it's an accident waiting to happen. Um, we're also working in conjunction with the uh, town of Hastings. They're also going to request on Route 11 heading north from their line to an undetermined um, spot. I'm not sure where it is up there. They're also going to ask the state to uh, reduce the speed <coughs> to 35 miles an hour. So uh, I'm just requesting that um, the Cicero Town Board pass a resolution asking the, uh, the New York State uh, DOT and Onondaga County. The county road, though, we can set our own, correct? Um, if the proper procedure is followed, this is a suburban town, you have to get a petition from the majority of residents in the area requesting the reduction, and then you'd have to follow essentially a local law procedure to um, hold a public hearing, et cetera. Okay, well, let's go forward with the state section first, requesting a reduction of speed to 35 miles an hour on Route 11 from Orangeport Road North to the Anadog County line, and that's in the form of motion. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Tarwacki? Uh, I need some more information before I can um, really make a decision about this. Th this is to change from Orangeport Road up to the bridge. Correct. And this is in the, the hamlet of Brewery. And it's Correct. 35 right now, right? I'm, the door, I'm, not perfectly asked, I'm not sure what it is. I thought it was 40. They want to reduce if, the 30. It goes to 40 if you get past Orangeport down by DG's restaurant. Right, matter. it's 35, I think, from Orangeport right. north to the bridge. Right, right. it is. It's 35 south. Right. Someplace, uh, I'm not They sure. want to reduce it to 30, according want, to what I've got yeah, here. Yeah, they want it down to 30. Then I stand corrected because they told me 35. Well, it's, it's 30, presently that's even 35. Better. It's presently 35. They want and they want to reduce to 30 then. Well, Chief, what do you think? I think 35 is sufficient. I can't imagine. I think the problem is, is if we could get the state to entertain the idea of a weight limit, forcing the heavy trucks to take 81 up to get off at Central Square and come back if they have to. But between Bartell and uh, the county line is, is establishing some type of weight limit on those trucks. Because if we're going to develop that area and, and, uh, and expect people to come into that, but there are some heavy trucks that come over that bridge and down mm -hmm. that road. And it's going to make it very dangerous, especially for pedestrians, if it's going to become a tourist area. Yeah, I, I quite agree. If you can get those trucks to go the other way, that's, a, that's an ideal situation. Especially if we're going to make it into a, a, uh, a, a quaint community and encourage people to walk and to dock their boats and come across. Having those big gas trucks going 
you know, right through the middle of the village is really not conducive to the atmosphere that we're trying to create. I would agree, but if, uh, you know, right now, while they're taking the shortest route from point A to point B at four dollars a gallon for diesel, that's that's what it's all about. But. And I think also you're going to find you're going to get off and they're going to come down Swamp Road back into Brewer rather than come down Route 11, and they're going to tear that right up. Oh, that side road. Well, side to, road. to get through <coughs> Central Square yeah. with, a, with a semi and go up to the red light and then turn left, it's going to be very difficult. Because it's uh, an angle when you come up there. It's, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Can we address the uh, weight issue by local law? State I, or is that a, yeah, even if road. even if it's a local? You may be able local to. law. I can look at it. Let's okay. check it out and find out. This, uh, this is this supervisor Chris reminded me though we have Schneider packaging right there that has heavy trucks going. True. Right. Right. That's true. Got a couple bills that have right. heavy yeah. trucks coming in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My opinion is, if same as Chief, 35 miles an hour is not the problem. The problem is we just have to get between the county, the state, and your and your organization adequate enforcement. Lowering the speed limit is not going to slow the people down. If they know they're going to get ticketed for it, it will slow them down. So I'm not in favor of changing it to five miles an hour because I don't think that addresses the problem. <laughs> Tracy, did, should I make a motion? Yeah, yeah. Yep, and was it second? Burn. Burn second. second. So, Mr. Conway? Yes. Ms. Tarwacki? No. Mr. Ryback. Ryback. <laughs> that's me, yeah. <laughs> now we're lowering from 35 to 30. That's the motion? No, I think yes. The, was the motion to actually lower it or to request the state, well, state consider lowering it? Request the speed study to see if we can lower it to 30. There you go. No. Mr. Coral. Yes. Mr. Dzinski. Yes. Just so I'm clear, that's so the letter is going to go to the state requesting that they consider it and study it. Yes. Thank you. Now that that takes care of that section, but what about the other portion? Or or tell the, now that if you want to do the state. county parts, you need to get a petition signed by the majority of residents, businesses, etc. in the area before you can consider it. We'll, we'll contact the Businessmen's Association. There's now a Businessmen's Association in Burr that was formed like a week and a half ago. We will contact them and let them know what they need to do. Participation in government. We have students here? Yep. Would you like to call them? Yep. <laughs> Come forward, we can uh, sign your paperwork for you.